needs water. Yeah. Okay, fella. Come on. That's it. What's on tonight, Pookie? Stay. Better than that stuff we had last night, eh? Beans <laughs> again? No, get out. Easy. Come on. <laughs> Haven't seen you before, have I, mate? Steve to base. Steve to base. Can you hear me? Steve, what is it, mate? Steve to base. I'm stuck in the Mitchell River. Seems I'll be here until the level goes down. Steve, you're breaking up. We can't hear you. Look, can you hear me now? That's a bit better. Tell Jackson I am stuck. I can't make it tonight. Have you got that? What about the winch? No, it's still busted. Well, you'll just have to sleep with one of your beloved crocs. Goes with the job, mate. We'll radio Jackson and tell him you won't get there tonight. Look, just contact him, all right? Out. Hey, Calvin. Trouble, eh? You can say that again. Too much bloody water. <laughs> Going to Malparenka? You mean swimming. Right. <laughs> Too much floor tonight. Oh, okay, Captain, that way. You come stay with us, OK? What about this poor fella? Coming? With a river up like this, you'd be joking, wouldn't you? Best time. You lazy bastards. Blow. Right. 
Can't buy me something. What do you reckon, Blake? He knows what he's doing. He'll be needing these bloody things, I suppose. Jesus, let's go before he backs the truck into me boat. You sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. Well, I don't know. Trailer up on the landing, Jack? Nah. We'll be back before the tide comes in. You're not post crocodile tonight? Oh, yeah. Why not? Tonight's special danger. Big fella right there. Yeah, well, when I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Poor bastard. Should have brought him with us. Could have used him as bait. Jack, you see it? Tis a deer. Okay, let's get out of here.
Watch it out. Where's John Matro? Where are them others? Where that boat? It sunk. You fucking crocodiles attacked it. Proper bad luck. Him good boat, that dinghy. I wasn't going to be there for a day or so, but if it's important, perhaps I should. Jackson seems to think it's big. He'll meet you on the pier. Does Garrett know? Not yet, but Jackson will have to report it if it's serious. As long as it stops a repeat of last year's slaughter, it'll be worth it. See you, Mac. Out. Regan, hello. How are you? Hey, are these your shells? Who want it? Coming in eat. More pudding. What's going on? Don't know yet. How'd you go last night? No problem. What happened? Where's your boat? Where are the others? How you going, old man? Where's Smithy and Reynolds? You were with Good them, to see you. you. Jack, where are they, mate? They're dead. What? How? Smithy and Reynolds. They're both fucking dead. Killed by one of your crocs. Well, what were you doing out there last night anyway? Fishing. Poaching. Oh, don't start that again. We were minding our own business, sinking a few and fishing. Looks like you've done it well and truly this time, Besser. Me? It was that bastard of a... It was one of your crocs that did it, not me. Sure, and how do they end up where a croc could get them? I suppose the poor blokes made you take them out, did they? I don't have to take this shit from you. You get the croc. Two men are dead. And it's your problem. Come on, Steve. Kathy? What are you doing here? Finishing my studies. That's good. I didn't think you'd go on with them. There's lots of things you don't know. Still with the department, then. How have you been? OK. Anything wrong? Nothing's changed, Steve. It's not often I have a killer croc on my hands. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. How long are you going to stay? You look terrific. Oh, it's amazing what a bit of peace can do. It's good to see you. Uh, will you be here when I get back? Maybe. Crop lover! Wunderbun, that crocodile. I'll have to shoot him, finish him. Him dreaming crocodile, that one. Important to Aboriginal man. Them white fella try finish him. He finish them that proper fair one. Well, I've got a problem, Wunderbun. Black fella way say, no kill him. White man way say, kill him. 
Well, you have him your way. You try kill him, but do not get him that one. Him proper old, him smart, like old people. Get a leg! Numminwari, him not hurt you with me here. That's his name, Numminwari. Jesus Christ. Where is that crocodile, Wonderman? Maybe him this way, maybe him this way. His belly full of tucker now, maybe. Sleep somewhere. Well, he must be ancient, judging by the size. <laughs> Maybe him drown. Crocodile it, not bite him. We go now, back Malpringa. Well, we've got to take him home. Devil get him. He tried to kill that crocodile and devil spirit get him. No white fella could kill Numb and Worry. We go. Now. We'll tie the two ends together. Mm -hmm. Same with the mouth of the basket. Right. And place it on there. And then we keep weaving the basket, you know.
Kathy. Go away. Where are you going? Please go away. Look, there's nothing you could have done, you or anybody. It was just bad luck. Why didn't you shoot that clock? Well, it's not just sitting out there waiting for me to put a bullet in its head. Do you think I knew he was going to take that kid? Is that what you think? Do you think I enjoy seeing crocs eat people? No, but if there's a bad croc around you, you keep an eye on it, you shoot it or you do something about it. Look, I would if I could find it. All I'm saying is you shouldn't judge them like humans. They don't know that kids are taboo. Why not tell that to the boy's mother? Kathy, I know how you must feel. No, you don't. I care for that kid. Oh, like hell, you don't even like kids. Of course I like kids. No, you don't. You never wanted any, remember? Well, that's different. Sure. You're right. Nothing's bloody well changed. If we don't kill this croc, the whole protection plan's in big trouble. Don't you understand? It'll be open season on the lot of them. There won't be any left. The white fellas have never been happy about protection. We're going to play right into their hands. Will you come with us? Help us find the croc? That boy has never done any harm to anyone. Him sick one, that little boy. Him bad chest. Always in hospital. That's why you take him. You can't believe that. You can't rationalise a death like that. But what if it took your child? What then? Cathy, please. You'll not find no one worry. You're there no more. Where is he? Where's he gone? Him a little bit frightened now, that crocodile. Gone long way. Maybe Sydney. Holiday. at 30 feet. This is the one we thought we'd never see in our lifetime, Mac. Pity we have to kill it, then. Yeah. Tell me why this crocodile is so special. Told you. Him dreaming crocodile, that one. You not get him that numb and worry. Him proper old. Him smart. Like old people. Him belong this river from way upstream. From other country. His own billabong. <laughs> This place my father's country, and his father, and father before that. Why did he leave his billabong? Biggest rain this season. 
though he come look his country. When I was a little boy, my father, he'd take me to that villa, and he sang to that crocodile, and he'd come up and listen. Him not arm you that numb and worry. He know you friendly, these Aboriginal people. He can tell from your eye. Well, that's good, old man, but if he kills others, we're still in trouble. I go now. That mob want me to dance. Dance to numb and worry. Fuel on? Yeah. Knew I couldn't keep him out of this. Just get it over and done with, eh? didn't get it. Four days and you didn't get it. No, but they wiped out just about everything else. How far did you look? Full length of the river. All the way up here, around here, back around here, right down to here. Don't worry, it's not going to get this far. A crocodile that big should be easy to find. Well, we looked everywhere. And maybe the crocs moved, gone somewhere else. Did the abos help you? Uh, seems to be a problem. A problem? Look, Steve, I've gone along with this crocodile protection thing of yours because I believe there was a future in it. But if you're going to let this sort of thing happen, then that's the end of it. The aboriginals, they don't want it killed. They say it's a dreaming croc. Oh, not again. It's sacred. Sacred? It just ate three people. You can't put up a dunny in this territory without some black saying you're peeing on his sacred dreaming ground. You know that, Steve. 
Now you give me one good reason why crocodiles should be protected. Just one. One good reason. For 200 million years there's been a croc-like animal. They were here at the time of the dinosaur. For 200 million years. And we've taken them to the brink of extinction in 20. I don't give a damn if they are extinct. I want a report on my desk by 8 a.m. Ellen, bring in the plans for the Japanese condominium. Right away, Mr. Garrett. Where did you get that? Look at the date. 1908. It could be the same croc. This could be the painting of Nam and Wari. Now look at the bone pole here. In which the bones of the dead are kept. Look at the lines on them. That crocodile has the same lines. After you'd gone, they told me something else. You know, don't you, that Undaban's the keeper of the crocodile? Like his father was, like all of his ancestors. And when his father died, they took two of his bones and they gave them to Nam and Wari, the sacred crocodile. Like they've done for thousands of generations, almost since time began. Don't you understand? That's why he says he can't be killed. Nam and Wari carries the spirit of the people. Why are you really here? I brought you this. I thought you'd be interested. If you were interested, you wouldn't have walked out on me 12 months ago. Well, you seem to manage. And what does that mean? Well, you were never this tidy when we lived together. I've got a housekeeper. Oh, yeah? Who? Maureen Bragg. She's 60. 60? Like your research assistant, she was meant to be 60, wasn't she? You left. I'm not a nun, you know. No, I hadn't left. That's why I left. Oh, and your work. I was sick of hearing of nothing else but crocodiles and how only your department can save the bloody things. Sorry. Oh, make yourself at home. You always were a good housekeeper. No, I know nothing about a croc. Write whatever you want to write. Mr. Garrett's not in yet, Steve. He just phoned. He won't be in till after lunch. How did the report go? Great. He hasn't read it yet. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. I've got it all worked out. What? Us. You and me. I I've spent a lot of time thinking about it and I know exactly what went wrong. I know what went wrong. Kathy, you're back. You didn't tell me. How are you, Anne? Pretty good. How have you been? Great. Well, now that you're back, you two must come and have a meal with us. My nephew's coming up to stay next week. He wants to be an anthropologist, too. Perhaps you could come and have a chat with him. Give him a few hints. Sure. Hey, let's go. We'll never get home. No, wait. Oh, come on. Big day tomorrow. All right, all right. Well, look after yourselves. I'll give you a ring, Kathy. See you tomorrow, you Steve. Too. Bye. Okay, where were we? You had it all worked out. 
Right. What's wrong with us is not what you think. Good evening. The fish we recommend tonight is barramundi, grilled with a light pepper sauce, as well as the menu we have tonight special on the blackboard over there. Hope you enjoy your evening. What's wrong with us is you. Kathy! Hi, Jerry! I'm not hungry. How about you? Okay. Give me the keys. Government car. I know. Kathy. How you going, Joe? Still around? I'll be around longer than you, mate. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Take it easy. telling me I should leave. But the only way to change the system is to be part of it. You know that's not true. Of course it's true. You know, I thought about killing you once or twice. Really? I mean it. When? Once, when you came home at three o'clock in the morning, after a hard day's work, and I, like the idiot I am, got out of bed, took off your shoes, made you a cup of tea, and then I found lipstick on your underpants. It wasn't lipstick. It was paint from the new crock pen. Bullshit. No bullshit. You must think I'm an absolute idiot. OK, OK, we're going to have a quiet talk, remember? Yes, all right. Right, well, I hadn't finished telling you. What? About you and me, the reasons we're incompatible. Mm, that? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but I finally got it right, I think. Do you? Definitely. Well, it's not my work or, or the crocodiles or your driving oh, or your paranoia it? or me being a bit inconsiderate and a bit selfish. Oh, and then telling lies and playing up with uh, what's her oh, name hang on. and being a dead shit and a lousy fuck.
Damn! Now, for Christ's sake, make sure no one just shoots on sight. You okay, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. If they see it, tell them not to shoot unless they're certain of hitting the top of the head with a high-powered rifle. They say it was huge. How big? It was headed big. Two metres. I've been sighted in the harbour. Two metres? Where? Yeah. Here for. Same one, isn't it? Of course it bloody is. I'm surprised Garrett isn't here. Just as well he'd declare open season on everything that wasn't human. Harris? The same one, isn't it? Looks like it. Why wasn't I informed? Well, we were just getting round to it. Well, I hope you're pleased. This is going to make what happened at Malparinga look like a bloody picnic. What about the long-haired hippies on the beach? What about the people fishing, swimming? What about the tourists from down yeah, south? Can we get a statement? No photographs, thanks very much, and no smart-ass articles. <laughs> now, look, you two. Now that that croc's here, it means the shit's about to hit the fan. So I've prepared a press release to go out tomorrow stating that the question of protection of saltwater crocodiles is up for review pending a thorough investigation of what happened here tonight. That should keep the wolves at bay for a while. Now it's up to you. We don't find him, Steve. We've got to find him. Better get off the wharf, you fellas. There's a clock out there. Bullshit. We haven't had a fight all night. We just got here. What's the area clear? Shut up and listen! We were just standing there and that thing came and grabbed me mate. He was just minding his own business. Its head was that big, at least. I see. How do you feel about crocodiles now? Well, if you ask me, I reckon we should kill the lot. It now appears certain that this is the same animal that was responsible for the attacks at Malparinga. The chief We're going to town, Blue. Oh, oh, it's a hell of a long drive, Jack. But it is not certain this action
He's a cunning bastard. No wonder he's lived so long. Hold the light on him. Slow right down, douse the lights. There! It's him, it must be. What's the matter? For Christ's sake, why don't you shoot? Oh, it's a beer can. Definitely left the harbour. What's going to happen now? How many times? No. It's the same croc. It? It's the same bloody croc that was the Malparinga. The one that killed me, mate. The one that you useless bastards couldn't find. You and your fucking crocs. You don't want to get it, do you? You want to save it for your stinking abbas. Steve, please, come on, let's go. I'll tell you one thing, Harris. If you don't want to catch the bastard, I'll make bloody sure I do. Steve, he's not worth bothering. Piss off, baby. Oh. Oh. Get it out! Leave it alone! Some other time, mate, eh? Hey? Good time. I've organized spotter planes and there's a reward out. Five thousand dollars. Do you want every trigger happy Yahoo in the territory to turn up? I thought you wanted to keep people away from the water's edge, not to mention what it's gonna to do to the Listen. breeding program. I've got a wildlife section that's supposed to look after crocodiles. And when people start getting eaten, who do you think's responsible? The phone hasn't stopped ringing. Farmers lobby, station owners, TV, press from down south. I've even had a call from Japan wondering what's going on. They want to build a tourist complex here. Hundreds of jobs, thousands. But if they think we can't get rid of one bloody crop, they'll go somewhere else. Investors are getting jittery and I don't blame them. Who'd want to come here for a holiday when there's a chance of being eaten by crocodiles? more important issues here than the survival of a killer crop. The whole future of this area is at stake. Do you realise that? It's people that come with me, not stone age bloody fossils. That thing should have been killed years ago. The only place for a thing like that is in a museum, stuffed. Now, I've told the minister the problem's solved. I've told him it's over. Just the dying embers to put out. I must have that head. Steve, why don't you talk to Wunderbund? Wunder what? He's a tribal elder from Malparinga. Oh, great. That's just what we need. Wunderbund won't help me kill it. What's the point? Just tell him what's been happening here. He's the only hope you've got. Long time ago, the crocodile was man but nothing for him to eat. So he jumped into billabong, changed into crocodile. Here, plenty tucker. And he grow big and make other rivers and all them creeks. Him lost that numb and worry. He been leave his camp in that stone country and now can't find his track home. Him lost. Do you know where to find him, Wunderbund? He come, see white fella change his country. See what happened to Aboriginal man. See all them boats. Them guns. See too much dying. You people frightened that crocodile. That big problem, see? Always fright. You frighten animal, it kill. You mark my word, same as human. You frighten man, he kill. Aboriginal man, he respect that crocodile. Him different, but he got right to live same like you and me. I've got to go back now, Wunderbund. Will you come with me? Help us find Numb and Worry? I want the bastard dead in 24 hours, Harris. What do you mean? Shoot it. You know, gun. Bang, bang. Well, what's the matter? You've told him, haven't you? Me go on, Malparinga. Like I said, it's a waste Shut of up, time. Man. Let him go. You white men think you're clever ones. Trick this underbund. Now, wait a minute. What's the point? They're all the same. Hold on, just hold on. Underbund, that crocodile is killing people. I've got to stop it. I don't want to hurt it, but I've got no choice. Underbund, try to understand. That loud fellow 
Garrett. He's my biggest boss. And if he tells me I've got to do something, well, I've got to do it. And that clock's got to be stopped. Him lost that numb and worry. Him home in stone country and him lost. Yeah, and we can't just leave him there. Right now he could be hunting some little kid down by the beach. You try finish that numb and worry and him get you. You listen my word very carefully. Because you die from that one. What the hell am I supposed to do? We're on the same side, for Christ's sake. Well, you know what's at stake. You've got to help me. Ah, uh, why should I worry? Nobody else does. As long as there's some trophy, some blood afterwards. Well, the hell with it! solve problem killing car sometime you white fella not very smart will you tell me how to solve the problem we catch that numb and worry bring him back his own country catch him catch him alive and bring him back could we catch him alive then what'll you do take it to the old breeding pen it's secluded, it's big and it's empty. And then what? Fake another capture. No one had guessed in a million years it was the same croc. Especially if you assure everyone it has been killed. We're the public service, not the secret service. <laughs> that crocodile is unique. It must be the only one of that size and age that's left in the whole world. It's well over a hundred years old, for Christ's sake. Probably up here before white settlement. The whole idea is preposterous. I don't think you have a choice. Oh, yes, I do. You sent him back to Malparinga. How do you know he'd find it? He's confident he's worked out where it is. If Enderman's price the croc, it doesn't matter whether it's dead or alive, as long as it's caught. Thanks. Who'd go out with you and him? His son. I'm not taking responsibility. Nobody's asking you to. Well, it looks like it's up to us. Me one piece of paper story. What's he after now? He wants a written statement that the crocodile is his. Well, I'm not signing it. Don't worry, I'll do it. I know where that numb and worry be. I can't help if she changed her mind. What difference does it make money? We outnumber them. Red, take Food's on the table, the and circle around the valley. If the girl tries to make her get away in that direction, follow her regardless of anything else. Dex, Just turn the painting round. You better stay back here if you want to live long enough to collect It's a bad omen, isn't it? Thanks. Come on. I haven't got much choice. Yes, you have. Back out. And let Garrett have his way. Why do you always have to be a hero? That's not what it's about. Isn't you it? Know. You're not an Aboriginal. You can't do things their way. Well, our way certainly hasn't got us anywhere. We've got to get out of here. Go ahead. Him proper good fighter, that cowboy man. Big mob enemy, him fight all his own. When do you expect to be back? Don't wait up. I can be here when you're towing the carcass. Yeah, I bet you would. Is it true that your job's on the line? Mac, could you take care of this? Take your position sure. with Parks and oh, Wildlife. Come on, fellas. It's a difficult yeah. situation. As soon as we get anything, we'll let you know. We should have a clear picture. Thanks for coming. You forgot this?
thanks. Though I don't think I'll do much good with it. I don't know whose skull's thicker, yours or that crocodile's. I hope I'll see you in the morning. So do I. All right. Jesus, now what have we got? Must be big. Yeah, probably just a saw shark. Uh, maybe it's that croc. Yeah, well, whatever it is, it's gone now. I bet there's a dirty great hole in that new net. Cost me a fortune. Well, must have been a croc. What else could it be? Listen, Blue, any chances of that croc being around here a bugger all? It's down near the mouth somewhere. Why do you think he's gone upstream? They look for fresh water when they get thirsty, and he would have been due for a drink. Can I do anything for you? No, just wait. What about the radio? Want me to check with you? It'd be just our luck to be coming in on him when the radio went. We'll call you. It's him. Yeah, it's him, mate. Five thousand bucks worth of him. What are we going to do? Where are you going? What are you doing? Trap, Jack. Let it drown. It's vermin. I'm going to show that bastard Harris. They're all vermin. Let it drown, mate. You're gonna come and help me push this boat? Jesus. You want me to fucking feed you, Jolly?
Cut me off! Get me into the boat! What the hell's happened here? Fresh now that water. Him here somewhere, that numb and worry. Bloody poachers. I hope they haven't scared him off. Rolling. Him come up soon. Now. Can I get a dart in, do you think? Try it. Try it, man. Look, it come real close. He's moving. fall out. Well, I'm buggered if I'll cut it. Him close by that one. Start him, engine! He's coming up. Poor father in biggest fright. Tired now.
that cut on the top platform? Someone try kill him, that numb and worry. Come on, old man. Easy, easy. Open up. Tranquilizer gun. Getting worried. We got him. We had a battle, but we got him. Is it dead? What? Did you kill it? Of course we didn't. The deal was to keep it alive. Where is it? The croc's tied up in the mangroves. Underbun's with it. Tied up, is it? And being well looked after? Well, not for much longer. Well, what's going on? There was another attack last night. Come on, let's have a cup of coffee. Two fishermen. One of them was Besser, he lost an arm. Besser? And I bet Bowie Noakes is the other one. Fishermen, that's a laugh. They were poaching, we saw their net. Poachers or not, they are people. If anyone touches that crook, they'll be sorry. It's alive, all right, and that's the way it's going to stay. That's the deal we made. That's the deal you made? Yeah, and it sticks. If you want to kill that croc, talk to Underbun. Get his permission. That croc belongs to him. Well, what do you think of him? He's a, he's amazing. Who then go look after that crocodile? Well, I guess I am. No good white man look after him. Aboriginal man him need. Him special business that numb and worry. What about me? Come live here. Maybe camp your place. Underbone, can I touch him? I'm tired now. Bite too much. He's a beauty, huh? Proper funny, that crocodile. Little dart. In big fright, like hospital needle. He's magnificent. But what about the cut? He'll survive. His skull does beat mine by a few inches. <laughs> <laughs> And 72 centimetres or 25 feet and half an inch, man. What's the biggest you've had before? 15 foot. There were some poachers a few years back. They got one 21 foot long. We take Numb and Worry back his country now. 
Well, what's the hurry? He's all right. You know yourself, once he's in the water, he won't come up for weeks. We just got here on the bunt. Steve. I think he should do what he says. I haven't had a chance to... If we move him too much, we could kill him. We go now, Steve. Now. Get all of them, Blue. He's been here all right. Only one place he could have gone. I really like the way that croc. No time. The only chance I'll ever have, I've got to do it. We'd like a wait. We want to know how much we've got on. Okay, move her up. Jesus Christ, Jack, we're going to kill ourselves. So what? Here it is, mate. Like I said, no problems. What's the uh, load, anyway? Special trees for forestry. They want to know the correct weight. We go. Well, it's down there to the last kilogram. Steve, can you hear me? Steve, come in. Kathy, what's the matter? Bessler was at the pen. He knows. He knows about the croc. Steve! Right. Hey! Hey, what? Contact Max. Tell him what's going on.
Well done, Blue. Ain't the shit. Oh, bloody hot! <sighs> You're gonna have to let it cool down. When was the last time you put water in? Oh, <sighs> Get in. They're coming quick! Bloody hell! You all right? Oh, great place to park. We're home. We're home! Nam and worry. Nam and worry. Nam and worry. Nam and worry. Come on, Nam and worry. Nam and worry. Come on, get into the water. and piss off. This is none of your business. Fucking smart, Harris, didn't you? But you're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Blue, it's dead! Uh, I just want it, it's 
Ha, 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 ha! 